Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstadt, and in today's video, I have something super exciting to show you. It just arrived in the mail today, but this will be going up on the door. Don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I got in the new palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Um, the day that I'm filming this, they just released what the outside packaging looks like for the box, which is this. Now, because I have friends from all over the world, some of them I talk to regularly, um, and I know with COVID restrictions and stuff like that, a lot of people are not traveling. Well, Felicia was unable to get back to um, China to get pictures done of the area, the buildings, that kind of thing, with the palette, you know, to like hold it up with the background and whatnot. And I have a friend that, li oh, I've got several friends that live in China, they just live in different places. So, I reached out to one of my friends who's a photographer there to see if she was able to help and of course she's back in um, another part of China in school so she wasn't able to help out. But this is the Nomad Shanghai palette. My friend lives in Singapore. I also have a friend that lives in Beijing um, and the one that lives in Shanghai I wasn't able to get a hold of. So um, this is the box for it and on the back there are uh, Chinese characters for the shape names. And of course, you've got your um, story about what it is on the back. So I just got this today. I uh, asked Felicia about the palette and if there was any like things that she wanted me to specifically talk about. And she said, no, just wait until, you know, we show the color story before you post anything. And I said, I'm not stealing your thunder. This palette's gorgeous. So um, this won't go up until either the day before or the day it launches. So this is the outside packaging, the back. Now this palette is different from like her other palettes. Here's one right here. This is the Cartagena palette. Okay, so this one's 15 colors. And for those of you that know, oh, I got the Fire and Ice palette right here. This one's also 15 colors. This one came out January 11th. This comes out February 11th. The Orient Express actually has the same amount of shades in it that this one does. So I'm guessing the price is going to be the same as the Orient Express. I will leave Nomad link down below. I do have a discount code with them. I do, do not earn any money from it. I am not on PR. Um, so you can use the code Rebecca or Rebecca 10 to save 10% off. It will work on this palette, but this palette opens like this. And there is a mirror on either side, but this is the color story of the palette. And of course my battery died just as I showed what the palette looked like. So here is the palette. So she has this done in a specific way. You have a matte black on the center of the side. And then all of these are what they are calling foiled metallics or foil metallics. They're uh, different than their special shades. And then on this side, we have one of their um, shimmer shades. And then the rest of these are mattes on the other side. So you have kind of like a neutral, a neutral section and then you have your more colorful section. So in today's video, I'm going to be working with, of course, if you guys don't know me, I'm gonna be working with this side and I'm gonna be working with that black because black scares me. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna be holding the palette like this in order to do the look, um, but I'm gonna be doing two different looks. I'm gonna be using the black as a base. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with a look. I will do uh, my eyes first and then concealer, blush, bronzer, highlight. I have the Studio 54 palette here. Um, to be using for highlights. This is also from Nomad. And I also have my um, Manly Beach bronzer from their Sydney Bayers collection on the tray to use as well. So wish me luck. Um, I am kind of intimidated by black shades. And so, yeah, we're gonna be dipping into Moon first and I'm gonna lay a, a base of color down first. I do have um, some extra like hydration on my eyelids that I put on like two hours ago because I was planning on filming with this palette. So this one's just gonna have to wait because I'm just too darned excited. So yeah, so we're dipping into Moon first, which is this black. Oof. Wow, that is black. Here we go. And it's a, it's a nice, nice black. It doesn't look blue or brown or purple. It is black and I'm like being real careful with it. I have a little bit of fallout, but this is a more fluffy brush.
I'm gonna go back and build that up here in just a second. I wanna get the other side put on. I have a new BH brush I'm going to be using. This is a V7. I'm going to be using this to darken what is on my lids. And this brush does create a little bit more fallout, as you can see. And because I have some extra moisture on my lids right now, this it's kind of more shiny on my eyelid than I anticipated. I know last time I did an eye look, my eyes were like super dry and I was having issues with products sticking on the inner corner. So I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen today. A synthetic brush it is dry I'm going into high pie which is this blue it's got a yin yang symbol in it and let's see how this works oh wow I'm getting a little bit of fallout but look at that shadow all right, I'm going to take my finger into it. Whoa, look at the difference. Look at that, holy sh... So you could get away with using a wet brush with this and probably get a whole lot more impact out of it. And just for SMGs, I think I'm going to grab the Luigi Azui. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to have to ask Chelsea what that is. This shade right here, which is purple. So we're going to go from blue to purple. I asked my friend who lives in Singapore how to pronounce that. She said it's for the financial district in China. So here's her saying it. Hi, so the first one is Lu Jia Zui. Lu Jia Zui. The purple has like a hot pink glitter in it, whereas the blue has like blue and silver. That's not glitter, it's sparkle. But still. I also wanted to mention that these shimmer shades feel super smooth. They're not gritty at all. And for somebody with texture issues, it's nice. And I'm just color switching my brush off. Um, now for this eye, we're going to go bold. We're going to use Golden Prosperity and Dragon. So we're going to go yellow first and then green. Or you know what, let me put the green down first and I'll pack the yellow over it. I'm going to load both sides of my brush for this one. Look at that. Okay, now for the yellow. It has gold glitter in it. The green also has gold glitter in it, but it's also got like, whew, look at that, holy crap. Wow, I'm sorry, this is just freaking gorgeous. I lost a little bit of that green in the middle, so I'm just gonna pop some back over. I'm all sparkly and I love it. All right, I'm gonna color switch that first brush I used and then blend with it.
And this is a Farah six short shader brush. I'm color switching again just to make sure I'm not going to be transferred in the black too far up. Now I got sparkly stuff up there, but I'm completely okay with that. And I do have a little bit more fallout on this side than I do on this side, but that's okay. That's why I didn't do anything else first. I'm gonna clean this up too when I clean up my face. Got a little bit too high up blending in here. All right, so I'm gonna get off the camera for just a second and clean up the black on the inner part here and um, clean up all of this stuff here and what's on the side of my nose. And then I will be right back to do the um the under eye i think i might just use the colors on the lids underneath with no black underneath so you guys can see what those look like underneath because this is a little bit daunting and yeah it's it's kind of kind of crazy looking um i will use this side at another time and yeah i mm -hmm. all right i'll be right back all right i'm back with the rest of my face on i'm gonna start on the lighter eye first i have a luxie 221 flat definer brush and i did get it wet I'm going to be going into Golden Prosperity first. So I want to do like light to dark so I don't have to worry about the colors transferring. I also did um, a green to yellow liner in this waterline and a purple to blue in this one. Just put it on my cheek. Oh well, it'll blend in with the highlight I have on. I'm going to go back over this by my lash line too, just to kind of punch it up a little bit. All right, color switching it. I'm now going into the dragon shade. just to be weird. I'm gonna do this kind of like a wing out here. Over the black. Now for the other side, I'm gonna dip into High Pie, which is this blue. And then into the purple shade that I'm going to literally have to ask my friend how to pronounce. <laughs> I do not want to butcher it. I dated a guy for a while who was half German, half Chinese. And his mom was from China. His dad was from Germany. His dad was in the military and was stationed over there. And he tried to teach me Chinese because he knew I, I spoke some Japanese. And needless to say, Every time I tried to say something in Chinese, I got yelled at because in Japanese, it's like you can say things like doitashimashite or you could say doitashimashite. But in Chinese, if you do not get the intonations on the right part of the word and you don't pronounce it correctly and you don't have the right elevation or level for the pitch that you're supposed to have for saying things, you can say something completely wrong. So I kept getting yelled at for not having either, when I would say the words, I didn't say them up in the right spots and I didn't say them down in the right spots and I didn't 
um, enunciate on specific syllables. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chinese, trying to learn Mandarin was really hard, and so I ended up giving up. The only other language that I fought just as much trying to learn anything from is Russian. I have a friend that lives in Croatia, and he speaks, you know, the language of Croatia, which is kind of like Russian, but no, it's not quite Russian. Um, but he also speaks Russian, and he's tried to teach me a few things over the years, and it just found, sounds like I'm sick and I'm trying to hawk a loogie, so it's really bad. So I stay away from those, those two languages for reasons in which I do not want to offend, <laughs> offend people from those countries. And I was already sparkly before I did face makeup, so any sparkles that are here now, it's just, it is what it is. I don't mind being sparkly, but I know it, some people do not like it when they're sparkly, so there's that. All right, I'm gonna throw some mascara on really quick, and then I will zoom you guys in to show you everything up close. And yes, I've left the black where it's at, so you can see that there is black on my eyes. And yeah, let me do a mascara and I'll be right back. All right, just to be weird, I'm gonna grab the sunshade here on my finger, just lightly tapping, just so I have something up here on both. Now, you guys ready? Let me zoom you in. What do you guys think? And I did use two different colors out of the Studio 54 for the highlight on this side. I added the yellow with that grayish blue and then I used the grayish blue shade just by itself on this side to, you know, kind of be matchy matchy. What do you guys think? I wonder what these will look like over straight white. Oh, and the, this isn't glitter. This is like, it's like sparkly, oh my God, goodness, but this palette has several neutral shades in it. I can also try doing them over like this gray down here. And I'll, I want to try and use white glove from the Orient Express palette with these, with these special uh, foiled metallics over them. But just to swatch out the, um, and I just picked up the same color twice. I need to go get another cup of coffee. All right, there's one shade. Clean my fingers off. Can't believe I just did that. Grabbing the dragon shade, the high pie, and the purple shade that I'm not going to mispronounce because I do not want to offend anybody. I don't want to ruin the decals in the pans. All right, so here are the four shades that I used. And then I will swatch the black. I'm gonna do one swatch and I'm just working it in and then I'm gonna do one swatch and then build it up. And that way you can see the black So those are all the colors I used. Oh, and the white shade, which is the sun. This is just like the Paris shade from the Orient Express, except for this one's a straight white. There's no pink shift to it. So the, pair, the uh, sun shade is down here. That way you can see all the colors and that's every shade that's on my eyes is right here. 
So we used two, four, six different shades. Well, not we, me. This is so pretty. I think if you want to do like a pride look with this when, you know, pride month comes up here in a month or two, you could easily get away with a pride look because you have the red, the orange, the yellow, two different greens, a blue, a pink, and a purple. And then you've got two other greens over here. So you have um, this more like lime green and then you have more of a like um, a darker version of like a grass green or leaf green. And then of course you've got a bunch of neutrals in here. So I'm excited. I'm super excited. Uh, everything else that's on my face, I use a Tarte mascara. What are you, Big Ego? The lip is, I wanted something sheer. This is the e.l.f. Sheer Slick. Sheer Slick in Black Cherry. And then Bronzer's Nomad, Highlighter's Nomad, and Blush is Dazzled from Tarte. And then, of course, a Tarte concealer um, that is almost empty. Like, it's like, I'm scraping the sides. It's almost empty. So, yeah, this is everything. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Will you be picking this up? This is the Shanghai palette, the Yin Yang palette from Nomad. It releases February 11th. And again, um, if I, I'll just link the page where their eyeshadow palettes are down in the comments down or the description box down below. Again, use my discount code to save 10% off or use somebody else's discount code to save 10% off. You can also sign up for like their newsletter and stuff like that. And that will email you a code where you can save money. Um, so I'm super excited for Felicia. This is a beautiful palette. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I think I'm just gonna sit here and stare at my eyes for 10 minutes. Um, not that I didn't do that while I was doing my face makeup. Anyways, I will see you guys later. I am Rebecca Rissette. Have a fantastic day or night wherever you are. And yeah, let me know what you think. Bye.